Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna hop right into another quick video for you. I've already washed and deep conditioned my hair with Uncle Funky's Bye Bye Build Up and Heal and Renew. I love this mask because when I use this mask, it sets my hair up for a great style that's gonna be infused with moisture and it has proteins and avocado in it, which I really need when I have colored hair. As always, I like to start with the back of my hair, so I'm going to secure my hair up in the front, but I'm going to make sure that my ends don't dry out because when that happens, I tend to have a frizzy mess when I do that. So, we're going to start with the back, and I'm styling with Good Hair Conditioning Styling Cream. I love the moisture level of the styling cream. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, and it's great to pair it with a gel or any other styler that you like to pair it with, and it's going to have your hair nice and shiny and give it great definition. And with any product, always make sure you brush the product through so you have an even coating. So I'm gonna be finishing off this style with Curly Magic. I love this gel because it really is magic to my hair. I use it for buns, my edges, just if I wanna lay my ponytail down or if I don't wanna just use it for anything. It's um, one of my favorite gels that I like to go to. Now with a braid, I wanna make sure that I'm making it very tight at the root because I want this braid to have the most definition as possible. So I'm gonna braid it very tight so that I can have great definition um, just like with the twist you don't want to have a loose twist because you're not going to get the great definition that you're looking for so as best as you can try to make this braid as tight as possible I know it's a little difficult it is a little difficult for me braiding with wet hair so as best as you can make sure you get the braid as tight as possible from the root all the way down so I'm finishing it off with a small curl at the end. Um, if you if your hair isn't curling all the way to the end, if you transition it, you can put a perm rod on the end to get the same result. So I'm using larger braids than I did last time. I did a braid out a while ago and I used smaller braids. So I'm looking for a chunkier braid out. So I'm using larger sections. And because my hair is finer, I feel like I will get a better result than a bunch of small braids which would take forever to take out so I wanted this to be simple so I'm doing eight large chunky braids and I'm gonna see what the result is versus the smaller braids I've done in the past and because I'm using larger sections, I wanna make sure my hair dries. So I'm gonna get this dry overnight. I'm not gonna sit underneath the hooded dryer, but if you don't have that kind of time, you can sit underneath the dryer and then take it out the next day. Or if you sit underneath the dryer for about an hour and a half, depending on how long it take your hair to dry. But as you can see, these are fully dry and I'm gonna get a little bit of oil on my hands to take these down. I think I used a little bit of coconut oil just to eliminate any unnecessary frizz. And just like with any style, take your time. There's no need to rush because sometimes that will ruin a style. That's why I want to do larger braids because sometimes you can get frustrated by the top of your head and then you're rushing and then you have a mess. So I'm taking my time with these, just simply I'm braiding. I had great definition as you can see. I was very pleased. Like, look at this. Like. The definition is unreal, that's why I love using this combo because I have moisture, I have definition, I have shine, I have everything you need to have a perfect braid out. So happy with the definition and the results that I got using larger sections. Now, another reason why I can't stress enough, the bounce that I'm getting with this braid out is because I made sure my hair was 100% dry. Like that will make or break your style. If you know your hair takes a long time to dry, make sure you're dry because I've had the same twist out or braid out with totally different results because my hair wasn't dry. So I'm gonna do light separation for day one. I use a little bit more coconut oil on my hands just to reduce any frizz. And I love to do light separation on day one just so I can get the style to last throughout the week. The products that I'm using are infused with such like natural vegan ingredients that I love, which is why I love this line. Um, jojoba oil, aloe vera juice, marshmallow extract. These are the ingredients that are gonna get your style to last throughout the week without having to reapply product. So when my hair needs extra moisture and proteins and all the good funky stuff, I always get Uncle Funky's daughter and do my wash day routine. So comment down below, let me know what you think of this braid out. And if you use Uncle Funky's daughter, let me know which one is your favorites. Everything I used here is available at Rite Aid or you can get them online at Uncle Funky's daughter and use my discount code, Jazz Color Curls. And until next time, bye-bye.